Alrighty, so it's just teaching you how to use a lensometer. I'm using really old Bosch and Lom, but it still works, so it's all good. Alrighty, for an example here, we're doing a warranty on these lenses. Um, right side, you can start on either side. I like starting on the right, doesn't matter at all, but here we go. And I like to just pre-adjust at the axis, so it's at 9. On here, you can see how there's, it only goes up to 180. 180 is like your zero. There's no axis or it's 180. There you go. And from here, zero, one, two, three, four, and there's five, and da, 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 ten. So it's one underneath that, nine, perfectly level, awesome. Grab our first lens. I already took it out of the package. Minus 275, minus 175. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'll place it on here. We have this here, not all of them do. We do just to protect the lens a little bit more so. So it's on there. And you want to also start finding the sphere. So it's your skinny lines first. I want to get it at this angle. Here we go. Okay, so there we go. So there's a zero. Up here is the pluses. Can I start from a high plus and slowly roll down? I like to pre-adjust around where it should be, where the sphere should be already, so I can get a more accurate reading through the little... Um, to view. So here's a 3, here's a 2, in the middle 250 clearly, so in between these two it's 275. The tiny little marks in between, they could be a 12th off, that is okay if you happen to get it clearest there. So I like to pre-adjust. I know my sphere is going to be two, oops, 275, so I'll put it to 275. It doesn't be 100%, 100% right now because we're just trying to find them the center. That's all I'm looking for. So here, Let's see if I can get this just right. Ha, ha, ha. You can rotate it. There we go. It's kind of a here we go, here we go. So, if I go like that, that's my sills. The fat lines are first. No, I don't want that. Rotate it around and around, 180 degrees. There, there's my skinny lines. You can't really make it out on here too well, but it's there. So anyway, and in my target, I want it right in the center. So there, I just rotated it around till it's in the center. If it slops around, it's okay. We already know where our center is. So then you take this thing here. Oops. It's kind of hard with one hand. Anyway, take it, push it in, rotate it around, slap it on, go back up to the center. Okay. Go back here, here we go. And now you can kind of slowly uh, kind of wiggle it back into the center. Sorry about that. Ah, here we go. Center in the middle of my crosshairs. And they could be uneven. What if they're out centered like that? Just rotate around till it's inside the bullet hole, inside the crosshair. Okay, let's. For sake purposes, everything's even, lined up. Oh, this here is just to adjust your crosshairs if you want everything to be on the straight and narrow. So, yep, spheres on minus 275, it's good. What is our sill? Our sill is a minus 175. So you plus that to that, it's going to be a minus 450. So if you take here and minus, go down minus 175, it's going to hit about 450. There's four. There's 50. Look through here again. Actually, I'll do it first so I know what I'm looking at. There we go. So now I hit 450. That's where my seal should be. Just trying to get this camera on it. There we go. There's my fat lines. That's 450. If I rotate it back up, there we go. There's my skinny lines. That's going to still be at minus 275. And when you go in between the two, Get the clarity, clarity. Just make sure everything is centered with your crosshairs. So pretend there are, pretend you went through everything and checked and rechecked and this is, everything's narrow, um, not narrow, sorry, centered and everything. So we have our little dabber. I got an elastic around it because it pops open. In your ink, grab this, rotate it up and around, press down. Hit it a few times to make sure it inks on there. Take it around, take it off. 
And we like to use these little waxy things, and I'll write like an R or an L on the inside of the lens, and that's it. That would be your one lens done and ready to go.